Back, the New Orleans Museum of Art, or NOMA, is the city's oldest fine arts institution. They opened their doors back in 1911 with only nine works of art, but today the museum hosts an impressive permanent collection of almost 40,000 objects. Joining us now is Deputy Director of Learning and Engagement, Gabrielle Wyrick, and Curator of Modern and Contemporary Art, Katie Full. Thank you for being here, ladies. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. So how's that coffee treat me in the... Delicious. Yes, delicious. <laughs> okay, good. So um, starting out, let's just talk about some different programs that NOMA offers. Yeah, well, you know, there's something for everybody at NOMA. It really is one of the foremost cultural conveners for the city of New Orleans. Um, whether you're a family looking for something fun to do with your young children, we have programs like Baby Arts Play. Oh, that's fun. Um, we have Studio Kids where uh, young ones can come and try their artistic skills in relation to works of art in the galleries. Uh, we have Friday nights at Noma if you're looking for a social experience. That's my favorite. I love that. Oh, it's so much fun. You Cocktails, can, music, people. Exactly. Cocktails, yeah. <laughs> look at some good art, uh, and really everything in between. So, you know, always check to see what's going on at Noma because it's always something and there's something for everybody there. Wonderful. So you led me into the next question just perfectly. Talk about some current and upcoming exhibitions. Yeah. We have some fabulous things on view right now and some great things coming up for the spring. Uh, right now, we've just filled Noma's great hall with these incredible sequin artworks made by the Louisiana-based artist Tina Gerard. So it feels, oh, I think, in the Great Hall like this Mardi Gras celebration. Yeah, I was um, going to say, very carnival. Yeah, these Absolutely. are works that she made um, between New Orleans and Haiti uh, in the 90s and are just beautiful and I think, you know, make the Great Hall really feel like a place for celebration. And that is the kind of precursor for a big show that we have coming up this spring with the artist Keith Saunier. Okay. Um, also a Louisiana native, but who's known internationally, who works entirely with me neon light oh, so fun. the galleries mm. will be filled with neon also I think is a real celebration of carnival and colors that I think feel like this city hot pink definitely yellow yeah, fluorescent right. green <laughs> so very it should be fun, a lot of very fun. loud and assault <laughs> yeah, exactly. on the senses as I think Oscar Wilde would say perhaps um, and we also have some beautiful photography exhibitions up right now um, especially a show called past present future okay which celebrates Noma's photography collection one of the best in the entire country Wonderful. and has works that span um, the early the mid 19th century all the way up to present which is really exciting that is very exciting yeah. so something for everyone as you mentioned um, talk to us about highlights in Noma's permanent collection then yeah, Noma, as I said, has one of the best photography collections in the whole South and a truly remarkable collection of modern and contemporary art as well. Right. So about a year and a half ago, we completely reinstalled all of our permanent collection galleries uh, to really highlight both Noma's international art that we have from famous artists like Jackson Pollock and Robert Rauschenberg and others, Alma Thomas, um, Linda Banglis, um, as well as really showcasing something that I think is really special about Noma, which is our collection of art from this region and from the South. Right, right, yeah. definitely. So uh, for those who may not know, tell us the difference between modern and contemporary art. I'm kind of putting you on the spot. It's a little art history <laughs> lesson <laughs> no, here. Of course. <laughs> I mean, you know, there, there's no one who would put a fine line between those things. But modern art, we typically think about as sort of work from about 1900. Um, and then contemporary art is work being made today. So, you know, our current installation of our kind of modern collection goes through about the 80s or 90s. And okay. then after that point, we nudge it over to the contemporary work. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. OK. And, um, Tell us uh, about the, the sculpture garden, just had a recent expansion, is that correct? Well, yes, it's in the process. In the process, um, okay. And the uh, opening of the sculpture garden, the new phase of the Sydney and Walda Best Off Sculpture Garden will open mid-May. It's really going to be something that's a jewel for the city. Uh, over 20 new artworks that will be installed in the space. There's Wonderful. Uh, an outdoor amphitheater. There's a, 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 a gallery, an outdoor classroom. So, you know, like the uh, existing sculpture garden, it's free to everyone, open seven days a week, and, uh, you know, really one of the most beautiful places uh, in the city with uh, oaks and landscaping and, and art. It's kind of the perfect combination right. of New Orleans and, you know, something for the whole family to do. And it's one of my favorite places, too. I love just taking a book or maybe, you know, just doing a little plein air painting in there and just mm -hmm. kind of hanging out. You get your zen, but you're in the heart of the city. It's so bizarre. It's kind of like Manhattan <laughs> Central Park. We have our own little thing going on here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, Louisiana uh, landscaping, trees, vegetation. So, you know, it's an opportunity to learn 
learn about the visual arts, but also um, the sort of flora and fauna of the Louisiana region. Right, you gotta love the ducks too, or the geese, or what, what are they called, the big, the swans? Are they swans, what am I talking about here? I think we have all, right. all of those. Things. Okay, okay, good, I was like, I was going down the list, so I don't know, all right. We okay. often joke that the oldest sculptures in the garden are in fact the live oaks, which mm -hmm. are oh, over right. 500 years old. That's so, so unbelievable. It's amazing. Right. You know? So what's the next big event we can look forward to at NOMA? Well, there's a lot going on. Um, one of the things we should definitely mention is Art in Bloom, which is you know something I know that the city looks forward to every year and that right. we love at the museum. Um, original floral arrangements are created in response to works of art uh, and then installed in the galleries, and that happens uh, in March. Uh, the opening dinner is March 28th, and then it opens the next day on March 29th. Okay, and I've, I've reported on Art and Bloom several times because it is one of my favorite events as well, and it's just these these unbelievable, just beautiful floral arrangements in the midst of artwork. It's like it takes you back back in time, I would say. It's yeah. incredible. I think it's definitely one of the highlights of the, the spring for New Orleans, so uh, you know, don't miss it to right. anyone out there. Because it's cold, so you want to check that out. <laughs> All right, thank you so and, much, ladies. Yeah. We appreciate having you on our show. So to learn more about the New Orleans Museum of Art, you can head to their website, noma.org. And of course, there's much more to come on Great Day. So stick with us. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Very cool. Thank Very you. Well, thank you.